Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So, we have a nice stocked, um, what do you call it, um, pantry, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to call it really, it's like cold storage, but, um, yeah, so we have that all nicely stocked up and stuff like that, so we're doing good for there. And we have these lavish meals that we still need to do something with, so we'll probably go and trade that with somebody. I'm not sure what our uh, alignment is. Let's check the region and see what we're doing over there. We got uh, 94, so we could probably do a trading mission over there and send somebody out. Um, now, who about is constructing? We got a couple people working on the church, I think. So we could send out one of them. Um, our bard is, uh, actually really good for trading as well, so we can send them out for that. And giving that everyone still works on the, um, place a little bit more, we should be going, it should go good. But, um, we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. We still have this whole area to, uh, build to, right? So, this whole, uh, church tower thing. And I'm not sure where the other people are building. We're building. I'm not sure where they are now. Constructing. Let's find them. Ah, yes. They're building the um, beehives. Okay. So we'll wait for them to do that, I guess. Oh, there's two of them there. I don't think that the bees will actually do anything. Though. It's like too cold right now it's like uh 10 celsius i don't know maybe they will but just set that to forever i think that's what i did for the other ones yeah pretty sure that that won't matter too much though in the next few days because we're already on day nine so but what are we missing on these we're missing hay all right so that will bring up our production a little bit more i think and last episode what i started working on was getting these like little piles set up around the um place just so it was a little bit easier to get things from like we have uh, some sticks and stuff over in here already, so some logs and logs.
All right, so we have a, um, what do you call it, a feast happening right now. So we have a um, bunch of people over here eating and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if everyone's coming. I think a lot of people are, but hauling stockpile. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Andrew <clears throat> will, um, ah, I'm losing my voice. Um, I don't know if Andrew will uh, come over and join. It looks like he's still hauling to stockpile and stuff like that. But I uh, used some of the lavish meals and some pies and uh, the rough wine that we had on stock. So there was a guest uh, bard that came from the She-Wolf, so I thought I uh, would try to get some points with them. We'll see how it turns out. I'm not sure how it will. It would save us traveling all the way over there, though. So... I really like how the, the detail on the uh, tables and stuff and how it actually shows the food and the wines and stuff like that as well. It looks really good, like the amount of work that they put into decorating the tables and stuff. I mean, they didn't have to do that, they could have just had a static thing, but it looks way better with the, uh, the actual food and stuff being on the table. Alright, so there was some food left over and some rough wine and stuff like that. But uh, I think it went pretty good. Um, we got 11% with them now, so that's good. Pretty happy with that. That will hopefully keep back stuff from happening with that particular band, so or faction. As far as this project over here, uh, this will be our next project after the church, and I have it just basically set to not do anything at the moment for building wise uh, reason being is uh, we're gonna need a bigger bowing like a, a bow um, bowers cabin right now at the moment what we have is this little shack here and there's storage up at the top and stuff but I want to basically remove that and probably make this a single path just like that way and then this way and then what we can do is we can put another house here. I think that will give us a little bit more room. And I'm not sure what's in this one. This is just a house, so yeah. Um, but yeah, there's room over here for a building, so I thought I would um, sort that out. And then we can have our bowers uh, thing over here.
All right, so I got um, our people over here working on the uh, thing here. So we got a lot of the church uh, foundation for the roof uh, set up. This will allow us to place roofs wherever we want, basically. So that's why I'm putting the floor in first. And it also gives us a little reason to, um, or access to actually building the roofs and stuff. So we can actually plan it out and build it however we want without needing to worry about making scaffolding and stuff underneath because we have this huge um, area down here that is um, not accessible per se. So having it directly above the roof or having like flooring on the roof part um, will help with that part, but all right. Uh, there is a merchant, uh, the band of, or was it, who, who are you with? Uh, Heresy of the Rose. That's right. So, uh, they, they do have some bricks and some limestone bricks. So we'll see if we can't get them to trade. And we'll send our bard over here. She's, um, level are you with uh 23 for trading so that's not too bad i got a couple chickens too we should be fine for chickens and let's see what they else they got here uh we'll filter it by i think the item and we'll see what they got um what's this vinegar uh we have vinegar already so we don't really need that but we could go with the um these two things that'll cost 300 and oh they actually have some gold too we'll buy that oh thousand ouch okay um what can we sell for that we'll sort by um name now and then we'll see if we can't find what we need for selling we should have some lavish meals by now so We'll sell some of that, and then other things that we have in stock, I guess. Uh, lavish should be down in the L's. We'll just scroll a little bit faster. Uh, L, L, A, we're looking for lavish. We have 53 here. Okay, that will bring us to a little bit. That's not exactly what we got for the um, prices, but we'll um, see if we can't sell some other stuff here, too. Cattle, um, cats. Okay, that's not going to be enough. Um, hmm. I'll figure it out. I'll get what we can out of it. Alright, so we got the church finally finished. I worked on it a little bit longer uh, for recording and stuff like that off camera, but uh, the roof took a little bit 
longer to build because we had to replace that uh, centerpiece for the bricks. But I think it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It looks good. It's uh, more modern. It's larger than what we had before. That's what we had before. So it's um, it blends in really nicely with the structures as well. So I think it will work pretty good for when we get the other church uh, built in this area, uh, which will be pretty much a duplicate of what we have here. So uh, inside what we have, if I turn off the roofs, we can see that we have like a loft area up here. I've put uh, the entertainment um, part in here. Uh, this is separate from the church itself, so people don't get a negative effect for um, the oak walking into an oak brethren. I've also put doors here, so this doesn't count as, like the lobby area, it doesn't count as the um, oak brethren either. And same with this corridor area. And then there's a few extra spots upstairs for um, basically like new settlers that come in. So that's also separate. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, this is a superior church. So I've act I never actually knew that there was that high of a level for uh, the room. I thought it was just good. So that's pretty interesting. Um, apparently it's going to be really good for the um thing there so um other than that i added some gold um fixtures and added more oak brethren uh shrines as well and this is unfortunately a three by three so it doesn't fit into the center exactly but it will have to do for where it is i guess uh we i still want to put carpets in over where the um shrines are so we'll need to start producing some of those but other than that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe i have a discord server if you're interested in getting notified and stuff like that for um new videos you can always check out the discord server it's on my website and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out